This lesson, we're going to learn how to use a linear system to solve a problem. Step one, we need to read the question with a focus on the last sentence to determine the variables that we want to find. Step two, write the last statements for the variables. Step three, model the situation with a linear system. Step four, solve the linear system using either graphing, substitution, or elimination. Step five, make a conclusion. Step six, verify the point makes both equations true if required. Example one, a weekend at Bayview Lodge costs $360 and includes two nights accommodations and four meals. A week costs $1,200 and includes seven nights accommodation and 10 meals. Determine the cost of one night and the cost of one meal. Since we are finding the cost of one night, so we will say that N represents the cost of one night in dollars, and we also want to find the cost of one meal, then we say that N represents the cost of one meal in dollars. Based on the first sentence, we know two nights accommodation, which is 2N, plus four meals, is going to be $360. And the second sentence tells us there are seven nights plus 10 meals is going to be $1,200. Once we model the situation with a linear system, then we have to decide whether or not we're going to use elimination, substitution, or graphing. Since none of the equation has a coefficient of one and the equations are already lined up, I am going to use elimination. Once we have modeled the situation with a linear system, then we have to decide which method to use to solve the system, either using elimination, substitution, or graphing. Since none of the coefficient is a one, then I am going to use elimination. Let's label then equation one and two. We are going to make variable n to have the common coefficient. So the common multiple between two and seven is 14. That means equation one has to times by seven to become a new equation three. And equation two has to times by two to get a new equation four. Since they're both positive 14, that means we have to use subtraction to eliminate the variable n. So we do equation three minus equation four, we get eight m equals 120, divided by 8 on both sides, we get m equals 15. Substitute m equals 15 back into equation 1 to find the value of n. So we get 2n plus 60 equals 360. 2n is going to be 300, divided by 2 on both sides, we get n equals 150. Now let's make a conclusion. Therefore, we say cost of one night is $150 and the meal is $15. Example two, the two most commonplace names in Canada are Mount Pleasant and Centerville. The total number of places with these names is 31. The number of places called Centerville is one less than the number of places called Mount Pleasant. Determine the number of places in Canada with each name. Let's look at the last sentence to determine our variable. The first one, we want to determine the number of places in Canada with Mount Pleasant. So we say that M represents the number of places called Mount Pleasant. Next, we also need to find the number of places in Canada with Centerville. So we say that C represents the number of places called Centerville. Let's read the question to figure out our equations. We know the total number of places with those names is 31 which means C plus M equals 31. Here, we can use substitution because the variable does have a coefficient of one, or you can use elimination by rearranging the equation, put the M back to the left and one to the right. In this linear system, we can use substitution because lots of variable have a coefficient of one. Or we can use elimination by rearranging the equation for equation two. Since we already used elimination in example one, we're going to try to use a different one. So we're going to use substitution for this question. So let's label equation one and equation two. 
and we say from equation 2, we can isolate for C. So C plus 1 equals N. That means C equals N minus 1. Then we're going to substitute C equals N minus 1 into equation 1. We will get N minus 1 plus N equals 31. Collect the light terms and put the constant on the right. Divided by 2 on both sides, we know N equals 16. And then we substitute M equals 16 back into equation 3, which is C equals N minus 1. C is going to be 16 minus 1, which is 15. Finally, let's make a conclusion. There are 16 places called Mount Pleasant and 15 places called Centerville. Example 3. One long fertilizer is 24% nitrogen and the other one is 12% nitrogen. How much of each fertilizer should be mixed to obtain 100 kg of fertilizer? That is 21% nitrogen. By looking at the last sentence, we know we want to find the amount of each fertilizer. So we say H represents the amount of 24% nitrogen fertilizer in kilogram. H represents the higher percentage. Then we say that L represents the amount of 21% nitrogen fertilizer in kilogram. L represents lower percentage. According to the question, we know we want to make 100 kilograms of fertilizer. So we know the amount of the higher concentration plus the amount of the lower concentration must equal to 100. The next information we know is the amount of nitrogen that we have in the fertilizer. So from the higher concentration one, we know it's 24%. So we do 0 0.24 times by H, which give us the amount of nitrogen in the fertilizer, plus 12% of the lower concentration one, which is 0 0.12 times by L, which give us the amount of nitrogen that contains in that fertilizer. So in total, we're going to get 21% of nitrogen from 100 kilograms of fertilizer. Since those two equations have decimals, so the first thing I will definitely do will be simplifying the equations. So from equation 2, we know if we times by 100, we'll be able to get rid of decimals. So we get 24H plus 12L equals to 2100. And in order to use elimination, we need to make sure one of the variables have the same coefficient. So I'm going to do equation 1 times by 12 to make L to have the same coefficient. So we have 12H plus 12L equals to 1200. Now I have a new linear system called equation 3 and equation 4. Since both equation 3 and 4, they have a positive 12L. So I know I have to use subtraction to eliminate the variable L. So we do equation 4 minus equation 3. We get 12H equals to 900. And divided by 12 on both sides, we will get H equals 75. Substitute H equals 75 back into equation 1. We will get 75 plus L equals 100, which means L equals 25. Let's make a conclusion. In order to have 100 kg of fertilizer, that is 21% of nitrogen, we will mix 75 kg of 24% nitrogen fertilizer with 25 kg of 21% nitrogen fertilizer. Example 4. Samantha drove from Owen Sound to Ottawa, a distance of 550 kilometers. This trip took 7 hours. Samantha drove at 70 kilometers per hour for part of the trip and at 85 kilometers per hour for the remainder of the trip. How far did she drive at each speed? By looking at the last sentence, we know we are looking for distance that she drove at each speed. So we're going to say that H represents the distance driven at 85 kilometers per hour in kilograms. The reason I use H because that means higher speed. That L represents the distance driven at 70 kilometers per hour in kilograms. L symbolizes the lower speed. 
From the question, we know the total distance is 550 kilometers, so we know h plus l equals 550. Next information, we know the whole trip took 7 hours, and we know time equals to distance divided by the speed. So, the time spent at driving at 85 kilometers per hour will be h divided by 85 plus the time spending at driving at 70 kilometers per hour will be l divided by 70 equals to 7. The lowest common multiple between 85 and 70 is 1190. So we are going to say equation 2 times by 1190 to get a new equation 14H plus 17L equals 8330. In order to use elimination, we need to make sure one of the variable have the same coefficient. Here I choose H. Therefore, I do equation 1 times by 14 to get a new equation, that's COE equation 3. Since both h are positive 14, that means I have to use subtraction to eliminate the variable h. So we do equation 4 minus equation 3, we get 3L equals 630, so each L will be 210. Substitute L equals 210 back into equation 1, we will get H equals 340. Therefore, Samantha drove 340 kilometers at 85 kilometers per hour and 210 kilometers at 70 kilometers per hour.